they're here. They're <laughs> live. They, they like can't spend one minute away from me. Say hi to YouTube. Boone would love a subscriber or two. <laughs> hey guys, this is Lauren from The Skinny Confidential and today we're going to talk about my nighttime routine. I talked about my morning routine and you guys wanted to see the nighttime situation. The nighttime situation is not as gnarly as the morning routine, but we're still going to get into it. Before I get into it, I have to tell you about this sweater. So this sweater is by Strut This and Sivan. It is so comfortable. I'm obsessed. I've been wearing it for like three days and you have to check it out. I'm also wearing the pants. You can't see them, so I'll post an Instagram later. Trying to keep you out But there's a thought of you So, nighttime routine. It's not really routine routine, it's just like certain things that I do. So I have my Salt Rock Nightlight. If you don't have one of these, you need it. I actually felt seasonal depression when I was in London and I found out that staring into a salt rock lamp helps with seasonal depression, it ups your mood, it helps with anxiety, depression, it makes you feel good. So what I did was I got a salt rock nightlight. I plug it into my bathroom and I take a shower with just that on while listening to, wait for it, Tibetan bong music. Is it bong music? Bong, bong. I don't know, I'll leave the link below. Anyway, I listen to my Tibetan music, my salt rock nightlight is on, I don't have any other lights on, that's enough light for the shower, and then I have a eucalyptus leaf that I hang and that I get from the farmer's market in my shower. So it's basically like I'm kind of in Bali, but I'm not. I do my cleanse and exfoliate in the shower and then I get out and do my skincare routine, and I'll leave the link below for how I do my nighttime skincare. So this, like doing this before I go to bed, it just really helps with winding down. I can't explain it, but there's something about a warm bath, I feel like I need to do a post on this, that just helps your body get ready for bed. So I take my shower, sometimes I'll have a hit of my CBD pen, it's this really cute gold pen. You take a hit and it just like relaxes you, which is really nice. Um, and then I get into bed. Before I get into bed though, I turn my white noise machine on if Michael hasn't turned it on. Michael goes to bed before me. We try to go to bed at the same time, but lately he's been such an Ebenezer Scrooge grandpa. So he's like in bed at 9.30. I go to bed around 10. Flick on my white noise machine if Michael hasn't turned it on. Get my sleeping mask, which is a silk sleeping mask because we need to preserve the skin, you know what I mean? and lay down on my silk pillowcase. I am very specific about my silk pillowcase and I'll tell you why. I noticed my hair was breaking and I noticed I was getting pimples. Guess why? My pillowcase. Found out that it was the cotton in my pillowcase. It was, I mean, you're sleeping on the pillowcase for eight hours, which is so crazy. You should think about what is on that pillowcase. So I invested in a pink silk pillowcase and a black pillowcase. The pink one is from Silk. Um, I'll leave the link below. It's just like this really chic, pretty pillowcase. And the other pillow is Discover Night, and it's black. I've talked about it on my Instagram story, and they work. I would highly recommend that. Next to my bed, I have a Hydro Flask full of ice, water, minerals, some mint, even some lemon, and it stays cold all night, so it's ready to go for the next morning. Then I like to lay there, maybe put my sleep mask above my eyes, and I like to read a book. I just finished Scar Tissue by Anthony Kiedis of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and it was so good. At this moment, I am wrapped in a barefoot dreams, and usually Pixie and Boone are with me. So I love having my dogs around. I love um, having a big leopard Kardashian blanket wrapped around me. I love reading my book with my white noise machine. If Michael's annoying me, I always have my noise canceling headphones too, which is nice to play some bossa nova, maybe some Tibetan bongs dongs <laughs> I don't gongs know. gongs lately i've been trying not to read on my phone because it's not good for your eyes but if i do read on my phone it's the black screen not the white screen that's really important when you're winding down you don't want all that blue light um if for some reason you don't have a black screen you can always use the blue light blocking glasses which i use all the time if michael's watching tv they're like 10 bucks and they're kind of lifesavers and then lastly, if I want to read an actual book book, I use one of those vintage OG book lights. You guys know what I mean. You can find them at Barnes & Noble. They click on your book and you just put it over and read quietly in the dark while Michael's sleeping. So while I'm reading, of course, my Salt Rock nightlight is still on. I like that dimness in the room. I have one in the room and one in the bathroom. And it's just like this nice glow. I always go to bed with a book, whether it's on my phone or a book with a book light. 
I think there's something really powerful about reading 20 to 30 minutes before bed. Um, it, for me, it's like a time for myself. It's completely quiet. No one's bothering me. It's very peaceful and therapeutic. So that's my nighttime routine. I usually, like I said, fall asleep while I'm reading a book. Um, and I really like to be asleep if I'm being really picky by 1030. Uh, but usually I fall asleep like at 11. So I try to get eight hours of sleep. Sometimes it's seven and a half. I am a sleep snob and I feel like a lot of you guys are too. So, you know, what are you going to do? Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. I would love to know your nighttime routine below. Give me specifics, details. I feel like I gave you a bunch of juice. And with that, I will see you next Wednesday. You can expect videos on my channel every Wednesday, so make sure you're subscribed. Give me a French kiss. I have to do a French kiss. I have to do 10 French kisses before bed, maybe 11 if I'm being honest. Tell everyone how many French kisses we do. Thank you. I have to brush your teeth too before bed because you stink like a butt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait till you love me I'll wait till you find